Hello, I'm Phil. Hi, I'm Johnny. So today we're here to do another video, and this video is all about arch pain. So that's that pain that people will get, you know, under the under the foot, under the the, the inside of the foot. So now, Johnny, we as podiatrists, you see a lot of arch pain. I, I see a lot of arch pain. And other three podiatrists. Most days of the week, we'll have two, three, four patients each that will have pain in this area. So we thought we'd go through a few um, different reasons why it might be happening because yeah. as with any condition, the most important question is what is wrong? If we don't get that right, we can't get the treatment right. Yeah. yeah. So Johnny, let's talk first about bones. So obviously there's a lot of bones in the foot. A quarter of the bones in your body are from here down and the, the bones in the foot take a lot of force, our whole body weight goes through them. So what's one condition that could cause pain sort of in the in the arch or in the middle of the foot there, Johnny? What, do you, what can so you think of? The main condition, I'll probably start with the most common condition we see, which is a condition called plantar fasciitis. Yes, so that's, I mean, what is it? It's sort of lunchtime now, but I know both you and I have seen a bunch of patients yeah. already. Yeah, we've fasciitis. seen that hell of a lot in the clinic, yeah. Yeah. So what is plantar fasciitis? So if I was able to take the, <laughs> the foot model, so at the bottom of the foot, you've got a um, sort of heel bone and you've got a fibrous band that kind of attaches from the heel bone towards this sort of area. And that's called the plantar fascia. And usually when patients present with plantar fasciitis, they'll get sort of symptoms and pain around the heel bone. And that's just where the plantar fascia inserts and they'll sort of complain of pain in the morning, it's quite sore on the first step when they get out of bed. So um, it's just the inflammation of sort of in that area and it's just aggravating. So yeah, it's really common in the clinic and yeah. we've got loads of sort of different techniques and ways of helping it. Yeah, we got all the <laughs> tricks, all the, all the toys to fix that problem. We, because we specialize in it, we've got, we've got them all here to use. So. So that pain in the heel or in the arch, you said after, when you get out of bed in the morning, that's a common yeah. way to know that's what it is. Okay. What about other activities? So can it be worsened by like running or sports, other things like that? Yes, yeah, so it's, um, it's common in kids and even adults that when they do sort of activity, for example, if they were to do running or play footy, um, after activity, it'll start to replicate their symptoms again mm. and it'll just feel like, feel like sort of an ache in the arch and mm. near the heel area. So yeah, activity can defer, definitely aggravate. Makes it worse, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, that is the number one cause of pain in the arch. Like if you if you Google it, uh, you know, arch pain, it, plantar fasciitis will come up. Now, the problem is, is if it's not that, it's about working, you know, being able to work out what it is instead. So. If it's not a soft tissue injury like the plantar fascia, there are a bunch of other tissues that can be sore. So if we look at our skeleton again, there's a lot of bones in this area, so there are a few bones that can go wrong. So one of the ones that we can sometimes see is uh, stress fractures or stress reactions in the, in the metatarsals. So that's quite a common one, particularly people that are very active and on their feet a lot, and in, in athletes as well. And it can be for certain ages too with children, various bones can have growth plate issues that could cause pain in that sort of arch arch area of the foot. Um, one other thing that we always check for as well when people have pain in this area is the nerves. So sometimes nerves can be can be damaged. So this little picture here can shows just the complexity of where the main um, tibial nerve here branches off into different areas. So sometimes, particularly if your pain is a real burning kind of pain, so people will say that, Johnny, that sort yeah. of, it burns and aches, particularly at night time when you're going to bed, that can be a sign of um, a, a pinching of one or more of those nerves in that area. Unfortunately, the, one of the hardest things with feet is we have to walk on them, <laughs> right? So you can't really rest your feet well. You've got to do what you've got to do. So um, the pinched nerve under the, the muscles and even into the plantar fascia there if it's inflamed in that area, it'll pinch on the nerves and make it quite sore as well. So it's rare that there's one thing going wrong. There's usually a bunch of things that we need to address. So, but as you said before, Johnny, we've got lots of different tools. We've got a lot of tools and equipment to help you guys, so yeah. So if we had someone with plantar fasciitis, right? So inflammation of this tendon underneath, 
What's, what are some of the treatments we use? So what's one that, you, that we use a lot for this? So a lot of the time we tend to go for some inserts, so orthotics, and the aim of this sort of orthotic therapy is to sort of give the foot the support it needs mm. and support the arch and uh, help reduce the sort of tension on that. Yeah. Bone. And that's really successful for most of our patients. We'll get a huge improvement. If you can take the strain off that area, it can heal. Our bodies want to heal, they want to get better. You just have to give them the chance. Now, if we do that, or if we find that orthotics aren't what you need, often we'll be looking at another treatment instead of, or as well as that. So that would be things like extra corporal shockwave. We've done heaps of videos on that. So if you haven't seen that, just scroll, scroll through our feed. You'll see a video on that pretty soon. We've got other techniques too, like our new laser machine, which is great for inflammation uh, and uh, facilitating you know, faster recovery from injuries. Um, Plus we do taping and exercises and all the other sort of standard rehab stuff for for this. Now if someone, if you're watching this video and you're thinking, yeah, I've got pain in the arch, well, the best thing to do, what should they do, Johnny? They should either look up our website or ring in, yeah, book an appointment, come see one of the podiatrists and we'll yeah. get your head in the right direction. Exactly. And if you've got questions, if you're not sure or you want to just sort of find out more, if you call us, our guys, our front desk crew are really great. They'll know, they'll be able to help you and give you great advice because it's a problem that we see all the time. <laughs> yeah. It's not surprising. And our website's got a lot of information too, so you can jump on there. Now, if you're watching this at one in the morning because your foot's sore, hop on our website. You can actually book in for an appointment so you don't have to wait till we open. Just Jump in, book online. Right, I reckon that's enough for today, Johnny. Good. Um, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.